It's luscious. Mm. Yes. Today is She's in Her Apron's five year anniversary. We're old. <laughs> So to celebrate She's in Her Apron's five year anniversary, let's make a yummy, luscious lemon cake. This cake is yummy. It's not healthy, but it is yummy. Grab one yellow cake mix. You can make your own cake if you want from scratch, go for it. Prepare the cake mix according to the recipe or box. I greased two round cake pans and separated the batter between the both of them. Okay, bake the cake according to the instructions that you have. Now we're gonna make the frosting for the cake. To a mixing bowl, you're going to add one cup of cold milk, one box of lemon instant pudding, with a fourth cup of powdered sugar. Blend with a wire whisk, and then stir in an eight ounce container of Cool Whip. And refrigerate your frosting until you're ready to use it. I did it on this day because we were rushing. <laughs> So my frosting is not as firm as it can be. So definitely put that frosting in the refrigerator before you frost your cake. Then you're gonna remove the cake from the pans to cool. I let mine cool on a wire rack. You're gonna put the cakes back in the pan once they have cooled and poke holes with a fork all over the cake. You're going to take two three ounce boxes of lemon jello powder and mix in two cups of boiling water and let that dissolve. Then you're gonna pour half over each layer of the cake and then you'll refrigerate that for at least three hours. So when you're ready to frost, what you need to do is dip your cake pans in hot water for about 10 seconds. I filled up my sink with a little layer of hot water, sat my pans in them, and it helped dissolve that jello underneath so you're able to take the cake out of the pans. Just unmold it onto a serving platter. So prior to frosting, I put a layer of parchment paper underneath the cake so that when I frosted, any extra frosting would land on the paper and I could just slide it out when I was done. Okay, take your first layer of cake and put a layer of frosting on top. Add your second layer and just continue to frost all sides of the cake. And keep this cake refrigerated until you're ready to serve it. If you don't want to do a round cake, you could do a square cake and it works just as good. Especially if you're feeding a large group. And there you have it, my favorite cake. Ever since I made this cake, it has been my absolute favorite. And of course, the link to the recipe is down below. I usually only make this cake once a year, and it's usually either Easter or Mother's Day, because it's just so good. Like, I could sit and eat the whole thing. Like, it is that addicting. Well, we wanna say thank you so much for all the love and support for She's in Her Apron these past five years. Thank you. Isn't that crazy? So thank you so much, and I hope we have another five in us. We'll see, it's, it's fun. This journey has been interesting for sure. And we're just gonna keep going until, I don't know. Until we're done. Until we're done. <laughs> so thanks so much for joining us today. Enjoy that cake. This man loves that cake. It's luscious. <laughs> so enjoy the luscious lemon cake, and thank you for five years. Love you guys, bye. Doodles. <laughs>